Today we'll be going over the cloud gaming news that happened over the weekend. We've got the latest info regarding Google Stadia and Amazon Luna, but to kick things off, we're talking the latest updates being done on Xbox game streaming. Yet another major milestone was reached over the weekend for Team Xbox, as they have now fully accomplished upgrading all their game streaming hardware to be running on Series X specs. These improvements started happening not too long ago, and I have to give them credit where it's due for being able to complete their upgrade plans at this rate, especially with the chip shortage that's happening globally. So, what should you expect as a user with these upgrades being done and dealt with? Well, if you haven't already seen the better frame rates or visuals on games through xCloud, you should be starting to see them now as more and more games will start taking advantage of the upgraded hardware. Likewise, new releases should also be set and ready to take advantage of this hardware, which just means a better gameplay experience for everyone. To be clear though, games do need to be manually updated to take advantage of all this extra hardware, it's not something that will just apply to every single game within its library. On a personal note, Xbox game streaming for me has never really been a solid experience. After trying it out with the latest updates being completed, it still isn't, just to keep it real with you. But as with everything cloud gaming, every user experience can differ from one to the next. I have to assume I'm not located close enough to an xCloud server location and that may be the issue as I do know others are reporting a flawless experience. And that's where I want to pass on the question to you. Have you noticed any significant improvement in Xbox game streaming over this past weekend? Do let me know in the comment section below as I do love reading your replies. Next up, let's take a look at the Google Stadia front. This weekend, we got the official reveal for the remastered GTA Trilogy. As some of you know or may remember, this was leaked quite a while ago. I even talked about it on the channel and brought up the fact that the leak did have Stadia listed as a platform it was set to release on. Sadly, the official reveal does have all the platforms listed from the leak except Google Stadia, so at this point in time, you shouldn't expect it to arrive. Now, I do want to point out that Google Stadia themselves have a history of announcing things later on themselves, so feel free to hope that's the case here, but as of right now, the official word is no port. On the flip side, interestingly enough, everything regarding the leak seems to have held up pretty well outside of the Stadia release. Whether or not you see this improving the chances of a Stadia port or hindering them, I'll leave that for you to decide. Overall though, I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. I love the GTA franchise and grew up on it. I would love to have a way to experience the franchise on the cloud and take it with me wherever I go, and play whatever screen I want to play on. The fact that the three games are also coming out on Android and iOS is even more of a slight burn, but I guess on the bright side it does give an option for those wanting to play those games on a mobile device. Either way, I'm still hoping to see the game find its way over, even if it does come at a later date. To move on to the last news story of the day, it revolves around Amazon Luna, and it's about a new title hitting the service, a very fitting game for the month of October as the game is none other than the Blair Witch. You'll never see me touch a horror game like this with a 10 foot pole, so don't expect any sort of impressions here, but for the horror fanatics out there, this is a fantastic addition. To be clear, the game is a part of their Luna Plus channel subscription, so if you're interested, that's the channel to sub to. It's also worth pointing out that this title dropped out of the blue with little to no heads up, which is always a neat surprise and I wouldn't be shocked to see a few other additions this month that play on that Halloween scary theme. Other new games that have recently hit the Luna Plus channel include the likes of Smite, Mega Man 11, Dice Legacy, and Enter the Gungeon. That about covers everything you need to know that happened in cloud gaming this weekend, but before signing off, I want to give all my fellow Canadians out there a happy Thanksgiving. Now if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming and VR related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds. Yeah.